Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Ram. Today I am walking along the ground from that F-35 to go check on the pilot of this F-8 Crusader, which I crashed here. And actually that's taking far too long, so forget it, I'm getting back in the jet and flying away. I'm playing around with some more planes from Reddit user Te Matt Guy. He's made some awesome planes, I've done a couple of videos with an A-10 of his, one, one video where I was just flying around in an A-10 that he made, and another video where I modified his A-10 to include BD Armory. You might notice that uh, this F-15 is nicely armed with some weapons there. I say nicely, I, I wish I could put bombs on there, but as I've mentioned previously, I can't seem to have bombs in BD Armory for some reason. I don't know why, it's really dumb and quite annoying. Also in this particular craft. I have cameras uh, from... what's the name of the mod? I can't remember the name of the mod right now, but I have cameras, and so I'm using a camera to control this. And now that I'm in the air, I can turn the throttle right back down. Oops, not that low. Uh-oh, I'm gonna crash immediately. Hold on, oh, not that high. There we go. Alright, we're gonna turn... I, I just tried to turn the camera view, but I can't. But we're going to come over here. I'm going to turn the throttle back down a bit. Now we're actually going to fly over closer to the crash site. So yeah, the F-8 Crusader is actually another one of his planes here that I crashed. And the pilot survived. The crew cabin survived. Well... The crew cabin sort of survived. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that statement back until I actually see it in a moment here, because I'm not sure. Um, I am almost about to land by accident right here though, so yeah. Whoops. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, takes a little bit of practice to fly VTOL, and actually this F-35. Well, I modified it to add the pylons and the weapons that are on the pylons, and I also modified it to include. What was it? Oh yes, I modified the engine thrust values so that it would have more capability in vertical mode than previously. And let's see how low I'm flying. Pretty freaking low. I'm just kind of chilling out above the ground. That's funny. This thing looks really cool when you land it. Um, obviously I'm going to land it in a minute and you'll get to see that then. But until then, just take my word for it that this thing looks really cool when you land it. Am I? I'm sinking a little bit. Let's go ahead and turn up the throttle. Turning it up just a little bit more. I don't want to hit that piece of debris there. Oh. Just barely cleared it. I am about to... I am flying sideways. Oh, oh, don't want to hit him. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Cut engine. And I'm actually going to... Pull up. There we go. Not the smoothest of landings, but it was a landing nonetheless. That was a little bit of a mistake, but yes, you can see that this thing is very flyable in a VTOL mode. I'm actually going to throttle up really high, and this is actually going to be a slightly difficult takeoff right, right now with the, just the VTOL engines because it's going to want to... Oh, shit, shit. Nope, 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 nope. I was looking at that slightly wrong, so I, I was doing the wrong thing. Yeah, it wants to, the way, I, the way I was positioned, it wanted to fly backwards. And because I was on that, you know, vertical. Oop, I do not have the maneuverability to be trying to do the stunts I'm trying to do right now. But yes, I can actually, I could if I wanted to target some of this debris and just destroy it. I'm not going to though. I think I'll go ahead and return to base. Or I could fly to one of the other craft and show you them, but I'd rather actually just... I'd rather actually just go pull one out of the uh, bay, so to speak, pull one out of the KSC and show it to you that way. So for right now, I'm going to just uh, head over in... Eh, I'm going to head towards the mountains. Yeah, why not head towards the mountains? That seems like a reasonable place to land this. In fact, I could try to land this on top of a mountain. Alright, see that extremely spiky bit there? Yeah, I'm gonna go try to land on that. Alright, so we're getting rather close to the mountain in question. Um, 
Actually, we're still a fairly good distance away, but we are approaching it very fast. I'm going to go ahead and turn the throttle down to two-thirds. A little less than two-thirds. And I'm thinking about going ahead and switching on the other engines. Of course, uh, this is a stock version of an F-35, which in real life has a tiny thrust diverter on the front that's based off of the rear engine, and the rear engine swivels. But, as you can see, this is obviously just two extra engines to make that work in KSP. Which, that's just, that's how it had to be in order for it to work properly. And I'm actually going to angle this up a bit more, because we're still too low. And I think I might actually want to throttle up a bit and keep that rear engine on a bit longer. Actually, no. I want to turn it off. Turn that back up to two-thirds throttle. And I don't want to hit it. I'm going to aim just a little bit higher. And this is also killing off a lot of my horizontal speed. And I'm actually going to switch to the exterior view now so I can actually see what I'm doing properly. And I basically want to stop. Stop. Okay, now I'm way too high. And I'm also... I'm also about to lose control entirely. Oh, oh. Nope, I'm not about to lose control entirely. <laughs> it sure felt like it for a moment. Oh, oh, oh. This thing handles well from accidentally going backwards. That's good. That's really good. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay, that's not good. Kind of losing control a little bit here. Let's try throttling up. There we go. We're regaining control now. The higher throttle. Oh, and now we're flipping over the other way. Okay, that's not good. Um, switching to vertical flight mode. Falling backwards. We should be able to recover from this fairly easily, though. Assuming this thing has a thrust-to-weight ratio above 1, because it might not. Oh, jeez. That could end very badly very quickly. We could actually end up just landing on the side of it like this. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. Don't nose into it. Don't nose into it. And that's why we have an ejection system. Where am I? Where the frick... Where's the pilot? I hit the eject. Where... Am I in the plane still? What the... Why am I following the plane bits? Where's the pilot? There's the pilot! Where's my... My parachute... My parachute turned off. Okay. That's not good. Um... Because the parachute... It... The moment your velocity hits zero, the parachute goes away. That's this dumb... He should not have died that way. It is not how physics do. Let's try that again. Alright. We are rapidly approaching the spire again. I'm going to activate the secondary engines. Turn everything down to one, thro one third throttle. And you notice I'm doing this rather further out from it this time. I kind of don't want to repeat what I did last time, because that was, um... How shall we say? Terrible. Terrible. <coughs> okay, going to go ahead and shut off the rear engine now. Now we're flying in just vertical mode. And we're reducing speed quite a bit. But we're also leaning down a bit, so we will keep some forward momentum. Kind of wish I had like a first person mod installed for the Kerbal. I could see from his point of view. Or that you could actually see from a seat view in any way, because that would be really useful. That would be really fun. Uh, not useful, per se. Although it would be useful, actually, when you're trying to do stuff like from their point of view. It, it would be useful for that. And it would be a nice challenge. It also would be nice if there was, like, Oculus Rift support. I mean, I don't have one of those, but, you know, in the future, it's going to be a thing. And I got to try one recently. I, when I was at scale, I got to try one on, and it was amazing. It was 
There's the ever so slightest bit of disorientation, but it was amazing regardless, and I'd love to play Kerbal Space Ram with an Oculus Rift on from the perspective of a Kerbal. That would be amazing, especially flying this particular jet. I'd love to go flying this around from the perspective of an Oculus Rift. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull up now, kind of try to arrest my forward momentum. And I'm actually going to go to the external view now because I need to see what's going on. Okay, we are... We're going to fly right by it. That's okay, though, because what we'll do is we'll just turn around. And we'll just reduce speed while turning around. This is a technique that I've kind of figured out while flying around VTOLs a bit in KSP. Well, specifically this VTOL, I've noticed that I can reduce speed by doing these kind of sloped turns like this. It's also a good way to lose altitude. Um, right now though, we need... We no, I'm kind of maintaining altitude while doing this sharp turn. That's good. Alright, I think I might need to throttle it up just a bit. Yeah, because now I'm falling too fast. Nope, nope, now I'm falling way too, way too slowly. Alright, and I just need to kind of gently set it down on... Whoa, not... I overcorrected there a bit. But I think I need to throttle it up again. Alright, because I'm falling a bit too fast onto it. But I think... I think this could be good as long as I don't overshoot. Which I might. Which is why I rolled a bit there. Oh, oh. Okay, 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 and I dipped down a bit too hard on the nose there. But that's okay, because I can overcorrect backwards a bit. Okay, and now I need to throttle down. I accidentally throttled up momentarily. And I need to just kind of gracefully fall onto the surface. Oh, nose down way too much there. I think we'll be okay though. Mm -mm. We're gonna go right off the edge. Whoa. Yeah. Alright. Let's uh, turn it around and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kind of letting it get away from us for a moment there. We're flying into... The... We're flying backwards. <sighs> yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I'm losing it. I'm losing it just a little bit. Losing it just a little bit. Alright, alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, don't flip out entirely again. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's just do this. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and throttle that up to two-thirds, because I think we'll need it to get back up there. Yeah, other than completely screwing it up a couple of times, this is going fairly well. I mean, all things considered, I'd say this is going pretty well. I need to, um... There we go. I need to keep the momentum going forward a bit. Alright, I need to raise my altitude, definitely. Let me go ahead and throttle it up even more. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, because I need to get up higher. And I'm going to go ahead and deploy the landing gear again. I'm going to keep it like, like this, and I'm going to be ready to cut the throttle, because I'm basically going to go over the top of it, and then cut the throttle. Actually, no, I'm not. Actually, hmm. Well, I've already cut the throttle pretty hard. In fact, yes, let's cut the throttle. All right. And... Too much momentum. Far too much momentum. Alright. But... But we do know exactly how to turn around now. Oops, unless I mess up the turning around bit. Don't want to lose too much speed. There we go. Alright. There we go. Okay, this looks like a good run-up. This looks like a good run-up. Falling... Actually, we're falling at a reasonable pace. Okay, this is good. This is good. 
This is good. Okay. Oh, I, I let it fall. I let the nose fall just a bit too much. All right, and I'm going to throttle up at the last second. And... And throttle down. Oop. Ah. E, 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 e. Ah. Oop. <sighs> wow. That was, that was pretty tense. Uh, almost landed on one of those rockets and blew us up. Also, as you might have noticed, the, um, the positioning of the landing gear, it, we, we ended up Oh no, now we're embedded in the ground. That's not good. Okay, let's see if I can... Let's see if I can pull up one of these. <coughs> Excuse me. And then put it back out. See if I can get us the... Come on, click. There we go. The stay, there we go. And then pull up the other one. And put it back out to get us to... Hold on. There we go. Okay, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, and it immediately just falls back on itself. That's okay, though, because um, what we'll do is I'm actually going to throttle up the engine slightly. See if that'll... I don't want to throttle up too much and accidentally take off, of course. Um, I'm actually going to tell this to turn off. There you go. We're using just a little bit of thrust back here to try and put us right side up. Okay, now... Stay right side up. No, see, that's that's gonna gonna try to flip backwards the moment I. So right now I have all the engines shut off, but I'm holding the pitch down all the way, and I'm using whatever it has reaction wheels in the center actually to make it more flyable. Uh, no, more towards the rear. They're in the rear. There they are. See, it has those to make it more flyable. Oh yes, of course, battery packs, and. Because of those, I am able to keep the front landing gear down on the ground. But without them, I let go of the controls. Oh, there we go. Awesome. I have successfully landed an F-35 on top of the mountain. That is amazing. Excuse me while I take some screenshots. And another one kind of at this angle to kind of say that look at the angle we're at too because it's pretty extreme. All right. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. As always, see you in space.